I just want to show you a couple of things that you can do here in synchronous technology that you can't do in your history-based modeling CAD program. So the first place I'm going to start is just with this one inch dimension. And I'll click on this and uh, I can scroll up and down with my mouse, down or up, and, and it gets bigger or smaller. Well, that's not so impressive because you can do that in your history base. But you notice that it's it's moving symmetrically. Now, if if I don't if I don't change my mind how I want this thing to react to change, I can go down here and just hit this arrow, and now scroll. Okay, now it reacts to change differently. That means I've changed the design intent of this part just by using settings on a dialog box, really. So I can change the bottom or the top, or both symmetrically. Or I can just key something in. Okay, so there I am. That's, that's how I'm driving the design intent. You can see the design intent when you mouse over the, the dimension and you see the big red arrow. That's the side that's going to change. Okay, so that's design intent on dimensions. Let's do something else here. I'm going to uh, swing around and uh, draw a circle. Okay, here I've got my circle, and I'll go in and put a dimension on it. Here, let's put a dimension, make that three inches. Notice that there are no um, arrows on the uh, diameter dimension. It really wouldn't make any sense here. So now I want to extrude this. I'll just grab inside the region, make sure that it's set to uh, add material and use key points, and it's not going to do it symmetrically. So I'll grab the arrow of the steering wheel and move down here to the end point. And uh, there I've added this hockey puck shape. Now I want to get rid of some of these dimensions and other things on the screen. So I'll go up here to turn off the PMI product manufacturing information, that's uh, dimensions. And uh, I'll also turn off sketches because in synchronous technology, uh, once you use a sketch, uh, it's still there, but it's not driving the model anymore. The faces of the model are driving the geometry, which, which makes much more sense than sketches driving the model. So let's, let's see about some changes that I can make here. I, I made this outer face with relationship to the, the interface. So it makes sense that if I grab this interface and I move this around, the outer circle comes with it. That just makes sense, right? And I can key in a specific amount I want to move this, or uh, I could just move it with the, uh, with the mouse. Okay, so there I've, I've moved the outer cylindrical face with the inner cylindrical face. Well, let's see what happens now if I try to drive this with the outer face. I can grab this disk and move it up or down. And uh, you can see that the outer face is now driving the inner face, which really doesn't make any sense for, if you're looking at this from a history-based point of view. But if you're just looking at this from a geometrical point of view, it makes complete sense. Why would you not want to do this? So, um, oh, here's something else. Look at this little ledge that's being created. Depending on how you made your history-based model, you may or may not be able to, uh, uh, to get that sort of an effect when you make this sort of change on your model. So I'm, I'm able to get a lot of different types of design intent here just by talking to the software and I don't have to mess around with the sketches and the settings and relationships and sketches and going back and editing this feature or that feature. Well, let's say that my design intent has changed again because we all know that, that the, the change that somebody's going to want is the, the one you didn't plan for. So I'm just going to grab this outer face, and, and let's say that they want to move this outer circle differently from the inner circle. So I'm going to come down here to the live rules and just turn off the special live rule that 
controls concentric faces. Now the live rules are really the intelligence. This is really where the design intent comes from. So since I've got this face selected, I can move this outer cylindrical face independent from the center hole. And also I can move this center hole independent from the outer cylindrical face. So uh, we've got a couple of things going on here. We got a lot of power with design intent. We're uh, totally blowing away the idea that you need history in order to be able to edit a model correctly. And you notice here that also that none of my dimensions blew up. I didn't have any sketches that, that failed. I didn't have any sketch relationships that failed. So if you're, if you're sick of that way of working, Solid Edge is a great way to go. Solid Edge has synchronous technology, as I'm demonstrating. We also have the ability to do history-based modeling if you decide that that's what you want to do. Solid Edge is going to give you the choice between the two ways of working, not make you work one way.